Hello viewers, welcome. In this video we'll be doing an upgrade of our Garmin GPS. This upgrade will involve the 2595 LMT model. A lot of the same information applies to other Garmin GPS models. To do the upgrade you need the GPS and the USB cable. If you look on the back, there's that mini USB port which we will need. We're going to need to connect the cable to the back of this GPS. And on the other end, we will plug into the computer. An upgrade is very important because you can get new maps that cover new streets, road changes, fixes bugs, um, a lot of improvements. So to get started, we'll look at this Garmin URL, look at the Garmin.com lifetime updated. We're going to try to get the update from that website. Now, a lot of the information that we talk about here also applies to other Garmin GPSs. So, let's put the URL in here and try to load the page. And the page is loading. You see, the first thing it's asking for is the country. So, you should choose the country that applies to wherever you're uh, coming from. Uh, and this is important because of uh, map information. And we're in the United States, so we're going to click United States. Next, we get a site, uh, that a page that's showing the main Garmin site. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us the real link, so we click Support. And if we scroll down, we see that there's a map update. Get map updates, and we'll click that button right there. And next page, we get a choice of two options here. I have lifetime updates, or I need to purchase an update. And if you have the Garmin 2595 LMT, it has lifetime updates. We will choose that option here. And we're running Windows, so we'll download for Windows. The download will take a little while. We're going to try to uh, speed through this, so you won't have to wait. Now we have the file. We're going to just run the file from here. And it pops up the Garmin Express window. And we have two options. Options or install. And check this up for me. Let's take a look at options to see if it's there. You see the path location. We'll get back and use the default and do the install. Installation will take a little time. Again, we're going to speed through this so you won't have to wait. And the install is done. Let me close this big window so I can access this smaller window. And let me launch the application. And let's click get started. And since our device is plugged in, it auto detected. Movie 2595. And we'll just click continue. Seems to be searching for something. And it says that our device is not registered. Uh, we'll, we'll skip this step for now. Thanks register later and here we have a screen from the application it tells you there are updates for a number of map updates and software updates and it shows our model which I guess at the top and just a get a better view and it tells our GPS is connected we look at the details for the map updates. It has full coverage of North America. It's 4.5 gigs to download. It takes a little while. Software updates. Looks like there's quite a few software updates to do. So these are firmware updates. Improvements to a traffic receiver, voice, localization data, database for FM, traffic providers. Quite a, quite a few things. So it's going to take some time to do it. Um, we'll, we'll hit 
there's one more option at the top related to improving our products and let's not enable it to collect any data we'll hit no and let's start the install there's one more screen terms and conditions uh, it's going to be pretty long to read this thing uh, I think we'll just accept the agreements and continue forward with our update. And it shows an estimate of two hours remaining for seven items. This is going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, here's a view of the uh, GPS while the update is going on. It shows the GPS is connected to the computer. And here is the update after a lot of time has passed, so 22 minutes remaining. I wanted to give you a quick look at how the updates are going. And uh, it's making good progress. The downloads are done. It looks like the software update. And it's still downloading says there, but it's actually says all updates are were successfully completed and we're, we're we're done. So let's maybe check again by clicking the uh, check for updates to ensure that it is truly truly done. So let me just uh, take a look at that in a moment. It says everything's up to date, which which is great, and it says it's done. But we can double check one more time, check for updates, and it spins, and it doesn't says doesn't say that we're in need of any more further updates. So I take that to mean we're complete. So if we hit device, we can see that uh, it shows we're now at software version 8.2. Internal storage is 67% full. There's 2.4 gigs of space left, which is still a reasonable amount of space. Uh, if we run out of space, then we will need to add the memory card. And there are optional updates, so we did not install those, but if we need to or want to, we can take a look at them here. Uh, these are free 3D arrows, a lot of open what features of vehicles, Probably nothing of uh, any type of necessity. Let's just scroll through these and get a rough idea if there was anything we might want optional updates. Just icons and pictures to improve the experience. I think we will skip on those for now. And we're done the updates. Be sure to watch part two where we show the latest features from the updates. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please slap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.